Hello everyone, Ashlyn Q's a YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about the Elf on the Shelf. Um, I decided to pick this because for obvious reasons, um, the holidays and stuff and Christmas coming up. And um, we actually just got our Elf on the Shelf, I think it was last year or the year before. So um, we haven't had them for that long. Um, but uh, my son um, actually begged us for one and... So he picked out, he had a choice to pick out a red one, um, but he picked out the camouflage one, which is pretty cool because um, it's obviously different than the regular red um, suited elf. Um, his face, though, um, stayed like the original looking face. So here's our elf on the shelf. Um, he's about, I'd, I'd probably say nine inches nine or ten inches tall from the tip of his hat to his feet, little feet um but i'm going to read some history on the elf on the shelf and how it started so i i guess i mean it it started in 2005 and i thought it would be like sooner than that i or sooner than that i thought it would have been like way later th than that like way back in the past like in the 60s or 50s just because their faces have a unique look like how the toys and stuff looked back in the day so i guess i i thought this tradition started a long time ago but i guess it only started in 2005 so let me read some of the stuff i got from the web to you guys the elf on the shelf tradition started in 2005 when carol now bear with me because i'm not good with names Ab Abersol and her daughter Chanda Bell um, when they published uh, self-published the book The Elf on the Shelf um, quote, a Christmas story t tradition that's what the book was called a Christmas story tradition along with the special box with a small scout elf inside okay so that's how it all started and those are the um the ladies that got self-published the book now if you want to actually see their names google it because don't quote me a hundred percent on how i said those names because i'm not good with names but here's some rules too uh, for the elf on the shelf and i thought this was funny because i didn't even know some of these um number one the elf comes out first um the first time ever on december 1st um, the, number two, the elf leaves again on Christmas Eve. Number three, put them in a new position every day. Number four, your child has to be in bed before you move the, sh the elf. Number five, your elf gets their magic by being named. Now, I never, I guess I never asked my, my son what he wanted to name his elf, but I'm going to tonight, and I'll let you guys know in my tomorrow's video. Um... But, uh, or better yet, let me pause the video and let me ask him really quick and then I can get back to you guys. One second. Okay, so I just asked him and he said that he named him Elfie, which is really cute. So yes, number five, your elf gets its magic by, um, naming him. So my son named him Elfie. Uh, number six, they are keeping watch for christmas number seven children are not allowed to move the elf number eight if the um if they are moved by your child your child has to write a apology letter to the north pole so those are the rules on the little elf in the shelf and that's some background on the little elf on the shelf um I thought I would share that with you guys since it's, uh, you know, going to be Christmas time here soon and everybody um, is posting their little um, elf on the shelves on Instagram and Facebook and, you know, YouTube and all kinds of social media. So I thought I would share. But um, me and Elfie say um, have a good night and that's all for today and I will be on with another life topic tomorrow. Thank you.